So the BNS also has uh, incorporated the offense of terrorism. And the definition is exactly the same as the definition used in UAP. So basically the UAP offense has been added in the BNS as well. So you have two, two statutes which are dealing with the same offense and which can yeah. be parallelly applied. So how yeah. do you think, so does this uh, incorporation of this offense of terrorism, which is also quite widely worded, yeah. uh, does this raise any apprehensions of uh, misuse? Yeah, look, this is something that uh, really defies logic, right? And I, and I assume uh, most of uh, the listeners here today are going to be people connected with the law in some way or the other, right? And I think this is going to require what now? In the second version of the bills, they corrected it. And the first version of the bills had a very different definition. Anyway, responding to various reactions, the definition has been made the same as the UAPA. There is a proviso to 113 of, uh, there's an explanation. I think there's an explanation to 113 of the BNS saying that an officer not below the rank of the SP will decide whether to register the case under UAPA or under the BNS. Now, I would ask everyone listening to this and also you, Manu, does that mean that you can no longer file under both? And uh, you, you can no longer register the case under BNS and UAPA when, whenever it comes into force. Will you have to necessarily choose only one to register the case? And anyway, that does not mean uh, that uh, even if the police officer registers the case only under one, that a judge cannot then add the additional charge under the other. Now, if you have for the same act you have two different provisions and those laws have very different procedures attached to them right for for example under the uapa uh, the the io has to be of a certain rank or higher or higher than that right the investigating officer under the uapa has to be of a certain rank or higher now that need not be the case uh, under the bns because there is no corresponding provision in the BNSS on this, right? Similarly, what happens to uh, the bail provision under the uh, UAPA, right? For 43D5, uh, then are you saying that uh, you can get bail under the BNS? Now, look, there is, a, a, I, I think there's a fundamental legal problem here, right? It is very different if for the same set of actions or let's say for the same act they constitute two different offenses a and b right i might the act might be the same but the but that act might satisfy the elements of two different offenses a and b that might be a justifiable solution to a justifiable proposition under which there might be different procedures right but here the same act is leading to the same two offenses. The, the constituent elements of the offenses are exactly the same, but you have two different procedures, right? You have two different procedural elements for the same set of actions that then go on to satisfy the same elements of the offenses. There is no difference in the elements of the offenses. It's the same offense, right? Uh, and But just on the decision of an SP, I can be governed either by the procedure under the BNSS or I can be governed under the procedure of the UAPA. Now, that seems the classic definition of arbitrariness, right? Now, and for me, that this is going to have to be resolved. If at all, the government is going to bring this into force. This is one of the things that immediately the Supreme Court will have to clarify, right? Uh, otherwise, it is it is just a very, very dangerous situation where uh, you now have what was meant to be a special law now is being made part of uh, a very, uh, of the ordinary criminal law, right? And without, uh, I mean, for whatever it's worth, not that the, uh, the provision in the UAPA that, the investigating officer will be of a certain rank or above has led to any meaningful protection. But even that 
is being taken away right by bringing it under uh, the bns uh, even that uh, not again just as a risk of repetition not that that was any great protection but even that is being taken away uh, by bringing it under the bns and making it part of uh, general criminal law right so uh, you know i i think a really confusing and ill advised uh, move from the government on this and i don't think it's been thought through uh, properly from just the perspective of criminal law and procedure